All right, so for those of you that have been following my jet boat build and wondering why I'm not putting out videos, um, thought I'd show you why, because this is my rental property and it's not rentable. So during while we're doing good weather, we got all the windows to replace and two bathrooms to complete remodel from the floor up. It's a mobile home, so this is my new Lowe's $200 cheap tub. It's metal with porcelain. It comes uninsulated, so I decided to spray foam some crap on it just so it wasn't so bad. When you put hot water in it, it might hold the temp a little while. Which for anybody who's interested in that, kind of hard to spray foam down there and get it to stick so I'm just going to stuff some more probably fiberglass up there but I don't like putting fiberglass around a tub so anyway it's a 1980 mobile home that needs pretty much everything it used to be a hutch over here um, kind of a built-in cheap piece of crap paneling hutch so I took that out and expanded the the bathroom a couple feet so bathrooms got most of the sheetrock in it put in a soffit with some lights because the vent the vent pipe used to be here and now it's over here so needed a little soffit up there so stripping the floors stripping the walls sheetrocking all the walls um, just over the paneling the outside studs are two by fours regular two by fours but everything on the inside walls is just one inch two and a half one inch by two and a half or three quarter by two and a half but kitchen needs redone but i'm probably just going to spruce it up and and clean things up make it better without gutting it and redoing it these stupid mobile homes have these odd angled walls which you know I wouldn't mind just bringing this wall straight out instead of this 30 degree stupid wall there. But I got the laundry room, I still got crap to pull out of it, out of the house, all the appliances. And, um, you know, these bedrooms, you know, like I said, the whole house is getting sheetrocked. I'm, I'm hiring people to do some of it. Um, all the windows in the house are getting dual pane windows. They had the aluminum frame single panes. But uh, this is the bathroom working on today. That's where the tub has to go. It's basically a 60 inch opening, but the sheetrock's gonna screw that up. And so I ended up going with a 54 inch bathtub, which is typically a mobile home size or size of a, for a small space. So today I gotta reinforce the walls with some real two bys. The outside walls are good, but I gotta raise the tub because of the mobile home framing underneath it's not conducive with um, running it down and putting the trap in and reconnecting so the old one was raised for the same reason um, so i gotta frame that up a few inches and then build a, a stub wall here it's gonna have all the plumbing in it and on the back side of this is the laundry room so i have to you know there's the old access is right there to the tub you know, but I'm probably gonna put another access up high. But essentially, you know, they build these mobile homes just, they're just garbage. This is all new plywood floor, but um, I had the floor pulled up and had someone else replace it. And I went ahead and sealed it with kills, put a couple coats on it. And, um, but even on these mobile home floor joists, they're so bad that, um, they end up just taking particle board, like three quarter inch particle board and putting them in different places to make up the difference so you can have a halfway level floor. So you're just a real pain to work in. Nothing's, nothing's square or even, you know, on any wall, any floor, you know, it's always a lot more work than it would be otherwise. But got doors to replace, um, you know, getting all new doors and frames on this end of the house. Um, so anyway, until this house is rentable, which, you know, carpet's got to come up. I was going to put vinyl plank flooring in most of the rooms because it's going to be a rental and I'm not really interested in doing carpet. It's got central heating and gas heat, but 
the furnace is glitchy and has some issues and I'm an HVAC guy, but I've got another, a better furnace in the, in the shop that I'm going to replace it with. And um, I got to replumb the whole house. It's the old gray plastic pipe. It's been springing leaks for years. I'm just tired of it and done with it. So it's going to get mostly new packs and I use pot copper behind the, the tubs and showers. <clears throat> and then I come up to uh, cup to it with packs. So finish replumbing the house. Um, you know, pl plenty of things to do. I'm, I'm hiring out the sheetrock because one guy with half inch sheetrock carrying it in and hanging it. You know, it's just, you know, I, I probably would have done it when I was 30 years old, but I'm 50 and my back doesn't hold up that long. You know, it's, it's really a two person job to get it done reasonably. And this thing's been sitting for a couple of years. So just my spare time is not enough. So basically paying, paying to have a lot of it done and doing what I can. But, um, you know, property's a nice property, two and a half acres, you know, fruit trees, 30 by 40 shop, you know, this is where I've lived for 16 years plus, um, just up the road from where I live now, um, down by the river. But um, yeah, it's got, you know, woodshed. That's the old grandma's boat, 1960s when they bought it new. Um, decided to kind of give up on it because it's, uh, fiberglass is just in bad shape and it's a little beyond. But that thing went down the river and my dad and uncles were kids. They, they did a lot of skiing down there with that thing. But, um, you know, out here is the pig pasture that has so many holes in it. I had to work it up with the tractor. And, you know, of course, every spring grass keeps growing until it dries up unless you got animals on it. And it's like, so that's, you know, there's a lot of weed eating and mowing to do. There's the developed garden over there, you know, but... You know, a lot of oak trees, nice place, but I'd rather be on the river, you know, and we're not really doing things on the scale we used to as far as pigs and all that. And we had milk goats and chickens and, you know, there's still a lot of cleanup outside. I got my scrap metal piles out back. I just hate to get rid of, I don't have a lot of room down there, but it's like, man, you know, these fence posts are, are uh, three eighths inch thick chiller lines with with uh, flanges on them. They were chiller pipes from a uh, commercial application. I did this whole fence line with them and they're four foot holes dug in the ground with um, J bolts coming up, like eight J bolts on each one. So they're bolted onto the top of a four foot deep by probably 14 inch cemented in J bolts. Um, you can stretch whatever fence you want from those. They don't move. That gate out front's a Powder River gate that I hung on one of those, those posts. It's 18 foot. One person cannot carry it. So it's just a two person carry. And it's got a, it's got a latch on it that, you know, I hung that probably 15 years ago. And, um, you know, you, you can just push it and it swings and latches perfect. It hasn't moved. You know, um, so awesome fence, you know, good place for someone that has animals, a horse, a cow, whatever, but it's time to move and it's going to be a rental properties paid for. It's kind of a retirement plan and, and all that. So anyway, that's the reason I'm not building a boat this summer. Mainly, um, I have other stuff I have to do as well, um, such as getting in you know, um, undercover several cords of wood for the winter and moving about 10 more cords of wood so I can put an RV space in for someone to live there that was part of the deal of getting the property. So yeah, I need to actually get off of this, but I, I need to get this plumbing in so the guys can sheetrock around everything. So um, anyway, um, it'd be nice if I had this wrapped up in a couple of months with everything I got to do, but Man, when you go to work full time, your spare time's full and things don't go fast. But um, anyway, we'll look for those boat videos in probably a couple months or more. Sorry, guys.